All right, hey, welcome to my program. And what we have here is a boiler that I've been working on for uh, quite a while. Um, it's an old American standard. Uh, this is a two-pipe steam system. Uh, my last job that I did here was to um, replace this section of pipe and I was fortunately able to alter the feed mechanism, which was, I think it was down here, and it was just impossible, or not impossible, but it was pretty wretched to actually work on this thing, to work on the uh, burners and so forth. But So by doing that, it made it a little easier to work on these burners. Um, we also added a, a drain valve there for uh, uh, better drainage. Um, yeah. Laundry sink here is a little clogged, but hopefully that'll get taken care of. Um, so that was well and good. Um, there are two outlets, and uh, they do the takeoff in the middle, which you're not supposed to do, but here we are. And then this is the uh, equalizer line, and then this is the... Um, Mm, kind of sort of the Harford loop there that's a little longer than one would like, but there you are. So it's got a 47.2 on there. Um, the reason why I was here today was because this boiler was, was flooding. Um, and even though this valve was, was shut off, not surprising that the thing was passing a lot of water because if you take a close look at this valve, you can see that uh, uh, somebody had, had at one point used uh, a brazing and these things just don't tolerate the high temperatures. So this thing was probably cooked from, from whenever they did this uh, brazing uh, uh, stuff. You can see here, this is a uh, train direct feed trap. This is a, a leftover from the coal era. Um, at some time ago, uh, I think two or three owners ago, we added these um, Gorton number no. two vents to uh, vent the system and it's helped the distribution of the uh, steam much better. We also put on a uh, vapor stat. It's your, uh, there's the number there. I think you can read it uh, at L408J2000 and was that nine, I think? Yeah, nine. Uh, we've got it up, set up pretty high because this thing, uh, the boiler is uh, massively oversized and um, this thing uh, starts short cycling uh, not too long after you fire it. We've got it set up at about 14 ounces and I've got the uh, differential set up pretty high too. We've got a low pressure gauge on there which uh, allows the, um, uh, the person to uh, judge what's going on. Anyway, so... Um, think that the manual bypass was also uh, passing water along with this valve, the main shutoff to the to the system here. And so uh, it was flooding. So I went ahead and replaced it with a, a ball valve. And I've got another uh, ball valve here to be able to isolate this to service this. I believe this has failed in the closed position. Uh, that's they either fail whichever uh, position to, that causes you the most grief. Um, so, and this is uh, probably rusted up and failed a long time ago. But the main thing is that the uh, customer has been um, doing their blowdowns assiduously. And so we're making sure that this thing uh, will not dry fire. And uh, we've got our usual uh, sight glass drain valve on there to... Uh, keep the uh, sight glass uh, clean and uh, the water has returned. The water was down about an inch when this was firing, but now it's returned. Hopefully it won't go any higher than that after I leave. Um, what's interesting too about this system, it's hard to show, is that if we take a look at the radiators, we will find a type of valve on there called Crybell. The Crybell was a, uh, a very old, uh, two pipe steam system that did not use traps. I haven't done a video on it yet. I should. I think I've touched on it in a couple of other videos about the Crybell, but then they uh, added this return trap here because Crybell didn't have anything like that 
uh, for when the pressure got too high. This is the design of this is supposed to pump the water back into the the boiler uh, using uh, this series of check valves and steam, which is then fed through this valve onto a float there. I think I've got a video on the uh, train return trap, what's inside of there. Check it out and see how that goes. Um, this uh, piping here is pretty overly complex. A lot of uh, compromises and things which were added to. Uh, see, this was installed back in 23. And uh, there's a lot of stuff here which uh be nice to redo it but i don't think that's it's just so much to to handle but i think i got this one under control and um i'll see you on the next one thank you very much for uh, joining me take care